Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. Now in this video, I'm actually going to start things off by fighting the Carnage Beast. Now, he is a clone of Fenrir, so he does use ice attacks, so we're going to go ahead and prepare ourselves accordingly with uh, Feathered Helm, Icicle Guards for Brahms and Freya, and Lazard of course has Elven Boots. Now, I'm also going to be giving Lazard Fire Lance because this is really one of the few, if only, boss in the Seraphic Gate that actually shares uh, the weakness as the clone did. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of Invoke Feather. I mean, this spell is kind of useless when I've got, you know, Union Plumes and Auto Coat, or Auto Item. I'll go ahead and set up Fire Lance. And we are ready to go. Yeah! Now, let me just mention, since he is weak to fire, to you can one-shot this guy with the Inferno yeah. Sword. By far, <laughs> easiest and fastest way to level in the Seraphic Gate. Anyway... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and might reinforce. Oops. <laughs> I totally missed time that one. Spell reinforced. All right, now the spell reinforces for Lizard. He's going to be doing most of the heavy lifting in this fight using a uh, calamity blast later. That's better. Sort of. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start chaining our finishers. Uh, I won't be able... Ooh, wow, I missed that here. Now, I won't be able to chain them all. Reason being is Calamity Blast does not generate enough energy. That's okay, though. I just really want to get into the third slot so it'll get the, the boost in damage. How about it, Lizard? Now this guy drops the Demon Sword Nefarious, which again is the best two-handed sword in the game. And considering I just got one, and I'm probably going to be getting two, need two more from this fight, that covers you for all your heavy swordsmen. That was quite impressive, even for me. Ah. Uh, What was Odin so there you have it. Best way to win that fight is to wear them both down and then blow them away with a Calamity Blast because otherwise they're going to do Frost Baits. And even with uh, half Ice Protection, that thing's going to do about 50,000 damage to everyone, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to change my equipment back, use up additional uh, capacity points, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set, so let's keep moving. Now that one there is just one Carnage Beast, not going to worry about it. But up here we are actually going to face uh, face off against a clone of Genevieve. She can pretty much be shut down by just casting Reflect Sorcery. That's pretty much all she does is cast spells. She can cast a great magic spell, Cosmic Spear, which, you know, Dark Resist might help. But honestly, her defense is so low, it should not be an issue. You Can know, you provided that you've, uh, you know, geared yourself up properly. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it.
might. This boss will also drop eternal garbs, so you can get an unlimited amount right here. So yeah, as you can see, she she's really probably one of the easiest bosses in the Seraphic Gate, with the exception of obviously the Carnage Beast that you can you know cheese with the Infernus. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Let the worms feed on thy flesh. But yeah, I mean nothing to the fight really. These demons are surprisingly feeble, undead in name only. Alright. And we got another great Lazard quote <laughs> of the many. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to... Ooh, well, let's get away from that guy. I'm going to take a moment to uh, use up the capacity points, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this little passage here will lead to two treasures. Unfortunately, it's, it's garbage. I mean, the Wands of Exchange and the Quartz Gem. What am I going to do with that at this point? You know? Anyway, that fight I'll be uh, talking about later. And I'll probably be demonstrating it in the next video. It's, it's going to be a long one. Okay, so this fight. This is actually a fight with three Disaster Eyes. You... You don't want to be fight, fighting Disaster Eyes. They only drop Lapis Lazulis, and being eyes, they revive each other. Not my idea of fun. Unfortunately, this fight also has a, has a rare battle, quote-unquote. If you do this battle, you have a chance of fighting the clone of Cert, the Giant Lord. Now, this Giant Lord has ridiculously high health, high defense. I mean, it's really a battle of attrition. You just got to outlast him. Now that fight I will be showing you. Uh, because though he has such high defense that I'm going to have to cut through, I'm actually going to do this a little differently, and I'm going to buy three power bangles. Now I know I've been using two bracelets of Zoe for pretty much everyone for as long as I could, but really their health is high enough that they should be able to hit 90,000, no problem, so long as I'm really using those bracelets a lot, so I can afford to slough off with the fighter too. As far as Lazard's concerned, he's taken with two bracelets because he needs all the health he can get if he's going to ever hit the max uh, DME. And really, the Giant Lord has really, really high magic defense, so he's going to be pretty useless as far as damage is concerned. He's only going to be here for support. So anyway, in the next video, I'll be facing off with the Giant Lord, and we may just have time for another fight with, I'm thinking, the Dark Valkyrie. Anyway, this is Crime and Partner. Thanks for watching. See you next crime.